Flat out pathetic. What an embarrassing performance by this so-called Blue Jays team. They look awful, pathetic, putrid, disgusting, whatever words you want to use. They look, they're unwatchable. They're pulling the Raptors tonight. Painful, painful watch. One hit as they get slaughtered yet again by the Astros. This time, 8 nothing by Houston. Like, what are we doing? about guys got a got a phone call is that coach coach how we doing yeah john yeah oh you need someone to hit for you tomorrow well i guess well you, you, we're, coach you're not playing tomorrow all right let's figure that one out first yeah yeah, you, yeah thursday in the bronx and I, I know what you mean yeah well just to know just to let you know I don't hit high and end fastballs very well, so the analytics guys might be a little shaky for it. But are you sure you're, yeah? Well, Mike, are you sure you're gonna play as well? Okay, okay. We'll see you in Yankee Stadium. Well, I guess I'm getting the call to the show, ladies and gentlemen, because I might as well be up there doing a good job. And I got this thing in sport mode now, so I'm basically ready to dial in here and win a ball game for the Blue Jays on, what day is that? Friday afternoon. For some reason, they play at 1 o'clock on a Friday. I don't know what's going on. But in all seriousness, I still have no idea what's going on. The Blue Jays lose 8 nothing to the Astros. And they get one hit. And it was a Dalton Bar Show double. I'm sorry, but what are we doing here? Before we go into this, the Jays fan base was livid, absolutely livid before the game. And why do you ask? Because, oh, I don't know. They got no hit two days ago, right? Absolutely no hit. And somehow they won a game yesterday because David Schneider, Babe Schneider, the one guy in this fan base that everybody loves, gets a two-run home run off of flipping Josh Hader of all people, and you win the ball game. And he sits him on the bench today. If that isn't a slap in the face to Blue Jay fans, if that isn't a slap in the face to David Schneider, I don't know what it is. It is an embarrassment. Absolutely embarrassing by John Schneider and whoever the hell made this decision. I don't know if it's the stupid khaki guys or, or the, I don't know, the analytics team or whatever the hell you want to call them. I'm just trying to pull it up because at Blue Jay Center today, shout out to my guys. Oh, do I, do I have to go on the live here? I want to see the, uh, the stories they posted today because they posted the quotes after, uh, whatever, regardless, who cares? John Schneider, I don't know what we're smoking today, but it was something crazy and I guess I'd want in on it. Chris Bassett wasn't great. Your bullpen wasn't great. Your offense, regardless of what your pitching did, they sucked. They flat out sucked. The only guy who has shown a pulse offensively in this series is Justin Turner. And what did he do today? Let's find Justin Turner real quick. 0 for 2. He walked once. Other than the seven walks the Blue Jays had today, they had one hit from from uh, Dalton Varsho. But I'm sorry. What have we talked about so far before? The depth of this lineup is not very good. So your big boys have to be your big boys. Well, George Springer 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts. Vladi 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Bo Bichette 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Springer's hitting a buck 20 on the season. Vladi 208. Bo Bichette buck 50. You can't hit. And I understand, it's only seven games into the season and people are going to say to relax. Well, I'm sitting here reacting to one game. And I'm sitting here and I've, re- I- I'm sitting here and I've reacted to a series. And when David Schneider is the only guy in this entire series to drive in runs for this team, and you sit in the next day, probably because, well, we don't like Christian Javier's pitch mix with David Schneider. What the hell is Isaiah Kiner Falafel going to give you that David Schneider isn't? And people are going to say, well, he played third. Kevin Biggio can play third and flipping Davis can play second or the outfield. We've seen it. But after watching this nonsense today, it's embarrassing 
The four losses the Blue Jays have had this year have been embarrassing. The 5-1 loss to the Rays, the 8-2 loss to the Rays, the 10-0 loss to the Astros, and now the 8-0 loss to the Astros. The offense has no pulse. Zero pulse. Chris Bass has had a tough first couple starts. You know, Mountain France has won good. But wouldn't it be nice for your offense to score a little bit for you? Scoring two runs in three games and being shut out in two and allowing a guy in Ronald Blanco who's pitched a compo- what, like five games or whatever it is in the big leagues to no-hit you? It's an embarrassing series. And they honestly should be ashamed of what they put on the, on the, on the field today and uh, it, it, during this series. Because as a Jays fan, I'm embarrassed to watch it. And yes, they have the off day tomorrow. Thank God for all of us. Remember a week ago? I was in here like talking spring training. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the season to get going. A week today, I did the season preview and I was excited. A week later, I'm checked out. Now, baseball is a crazy sport. You know, they can always find their stride and then br- pull you back in because that's baseball. But for right now, seven games in, if your pitcher is not 100% dialed in, the team's checked out. And again, it's not a one-player fix. It's awful. It's flat-out awful, and it's an embarrassing watch. It really is. And guess what? You play the Yankees now for three on the weekend in the Bronx. You say Kikuchi, Marcus Stroman at 105 on Friday. Yeah, an afternoon game on a Friday. Like, that makes any sense. Saturday at 7.05. So you get a night game on Saturday, but an afternoon game on Friday. What are we doing? Gosman versus Clark Schmidt. The finale of the series, while it was Gosman, does that mean it's going to be Bowden Francis in that game? I don't know. Who the hell cares at this point? Can the offense show some life? And, and not... When, you know, oh, oh, pitching's going great. Now we're going to drop a 10-piece. Oh, that's great. It's great. What about when you're not pitching fantastic and you need your offense to win you a ball game? Because that hasn't happened. When this team goes down early, they're deceased. They, they don't fight. They're all, it's done. They had seven walks today and one hit. They have a combined, hold on, let me try and find the number for you. Because it's very easy to figure out. Uh, oh, let me go back to the last game. There we are, the Houston Astros. They have a combined 10 hits. No, excuse me, nine hits in the three-game series. Three of which were Justin Turner. I'm done. I'm going to go to bed. It's been a long night. All three teams lost. The last two teams got their teeth kicked in. And I had a great live with people on, on TikTok Live. Go check that link down below if you haven't done so already. But otherwise, this team, it was such an embarrassing watch today. I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, and obviously not the game, if you're an Astros fan and you loved it, because you probably did, hit that like button anyway. Hit the subscribe button if you guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. What'd you like? Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays? Let me rephrase that. Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays? Because there's no offense to like from today. Uh, Jimmy Garcia was good. Mesa was fine. Chad, or, <laughs> never mind. That was that was yesterday, and they were fine yesterday. Uh, today, uh, I don't know who pitched. Nate Pearson won great. Uh, Mesa won great. Trevor Richards faced two guys, so I guess he was fine. Wes Parsons won great, but what else is new? Whatever. All right, so you know what, guys? I, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys. Uh, where are we? Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below thoughts on this entire mess today. And I'll talk to you guys. Uh, Leafs edition uh, Saturday as they are in Montreal taking on the Canadians at 7 o'clock on Hockey Night in Canada. Raptors, God, they'll be on the court on Friday night, 8 p.m. tip-off against the Bucks, And the Blue Jays will be back in action for some reason on Friday afternoon at 1.05 as Marcus Stroman and Yusei Kikuchi battle it out in the Bronx. All right, thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and obviously not this game today. Back into sport mode. We'll talk to you guys then.